All right guys, so Halloween's right around the corner and I thought it would be a good idea for me to create a tutorial on how to make yourself look like this. So before we get started, I do wanna say if you're new to the channel, then welcome. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can get more videos like this one. If you're returning because you're already subscribed, then welcome back. But without further ado, let's just jump right into this tutorial and the program that you're gonna to need to create this, the program that I'm gonna be using is Photoshop. All right guys, so let's do this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is trace my glasses with a pen tool so that I can duplicate them and put them on top of my image. Then I'm gonna grab the smudge tool and make sure that I have the background layer selected and I'm gonna to begin to shape my eyes. And the whole point here is to make sure that they just kind of look sinister. And from there, I'll grab the clone tool, select a dark area in my eye and start filling up my eye with that black color. Uh, the whole point, again, is just to make it look evil. And not that I have anything against people who don't have eyebrows, I do think it will look creepy if I don't have eyebrows in this picture. So with the clone tool still selected, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of those as well. Now because eyes have some reflections, I wanna create some artificial reflections in my eyes. So I'll select the brush tool. And since there's some blue spill on my face, I'll make the light source blue, add a blur to that, and then change the layer type to linear dodge. So I think this is looking pretty good. I have some assets that I grabbed online of like a mouth, a scar, and even a background. And I'm gonna start adding those in. First, let's work on the mouth. I'll start by positioning it accordingly and then use the eraser tool to get rid of the areas that I don't want in the picture. And because I think highlights do sell an image, I'm gonna create a new layer on top of the mouth layer and I'll draw in some fake blue highlights. Then I'll go over to layer settings and change it to linear dodge add, and then drop the opacity down to 63. I do think that the mouth is a little bit too bright, so I'll head on over to filter, camera raw settings, and adjust it so that it matches the lighting a bit better. Now to add the gash in my head, I'm gonna follow similar steps as I just did with the mouth. I'm gonna adjust the color and make artificial highlights. I'll also add a slight blur to it just to help blend it in a bit. So at this point, I think it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and remove the green screen and add the background. Before the background gets added, let's put all your layers in a photo and label not merged. Duplicate that folder and merge the layers in that duplicated folder. By doing this, you're preserving the files. That's why we duplicated them. Now head on over to select color range and select the background color. Increase or decrease the fuzziness to your liking. Invert the selection by pressing Control Shift I then control C and control V, and now you've soloed yourself out completely. So because we're gonna upload this to Instagram, I want the canvas to be the correct size. So I'm gonna create a new canvas and select the proper Instagram dimensions. I'm gonna press control N and put in the settings 1880 by 1350. With that done, I'm gonna press control V to paste myself into that new canvas. Then I'm also gonna drop the background in. As I'm looking at this, the first thing that I notice is I want my nose to look a bit more sinister, so I'm gonna use the smudge tool again and pull it down. Now I'm gonna use the clone tool to capture the texture of my skin in the areas that I just smudged. I'd like my skin to be a bit white or grayish, so I'm gonna create a new layer above my cutout, change the layer type to saturation, and with my brush color being white, I'm gonna to start to brush. I'll also drop the opacity down to a point where I think it's just a good enough blend. So for the background, I want it to be blurred a bit, I'm gonna select that layer, go to Filter, Blur Gallery, and then Tilt Shift. I'm gonna adjust the settings till I'm happy with the way it looks. Now to really insert me into that background, I think it's important to add a light wrap. Now I'm gonna set the brush size to the largest setting, the hardness set to zero, and zoom out a bit to give me some room to work. Then I'll begin to brush in that light wrap. Then I'll select my eraser and erase anywhere I don't want the light wrap on the outside of my cutout. Maybe a little bit on the inside too. Finally, I'll select my cutout and it's time to color match the scene. The blacks in the background have a bit of a bluish tint to them, so that's what I'm going for. All right, so let's have a look see at that final image.
All right, guys, so if you decide to recreate this or do something like this, I would love to see what you guys come up with. Remember to tag me in your post at Sean Shaman on Instagram. So did you guys enjoy this tutorial? Do you have any questions? Drop a comment below and let me know. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Happy Halloween. Stay safe. Peace.